God promises in Ecclesiastes 12, verses 13 and 14, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. When a person realizes they are a sinner and on their way to hell, they turn to Jesus and ask Him to be their Savior. At the moment of salvation, all of our time, talent, and possessions, including our body, becomes the property of the Lord Jesus Christ. We become His stewards or His managers of the things God has allowed us to have while here on the earth. He gives us one commandment. Occupy until I come. Get something done for my kingdom with that which I have put you in charge of, including the problems. I have a wheelchair. On Judgment Day, the question will be, what did you do with what I gave you in the time I gave you? This judgment will not determine if I go to heaven or not. That is determined by trusting Jesus as your Savior. This judgment will determine your position in the 1,000 year millennial reign of Jesus on the earth and your eternal rewards. It will be something greater than gold because that's what they paved the streets with in heaven. So, the question is, are you saved? If not, you can be. And number two, if you are, are you living your life for Jesus? The Bible says, And now, little children, abide in Him, that when He shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before Him at His coming. When Jesus returns to take us home, we can have confidence knowing that Jesus is going to reward us for living for Him. And like the songwriter says, it will be worth it all when we see Jesus. Everything that we've done for Him will be worth it all because God is going to reward us for living for Him.